if you truly understood the insane things that were about to happen on Earth, I think you'd switch your priorities around just a little. Starting with watching this video. This isn't clickbait. I'm not trying to get followers or likes or views. I'm trying to help you. You may be aware of this whole alien disclosure narrative. Or maybe you've watched a few videos about how Nibiru, or Planet X, has finally made its arrival. Regardless of whether or not you're religious or spiritual, you'd be a fool not to recognize all the similarities between the story of Revelations and what's happening in real life. And if you were really doing your homework and did some digging, you'd know that every other ancient prophecy about the end of time matches up almost perfectly with Revelations. A very special game is about to commence on Earth, which will culminate the last 10,000 years of a great cosmic and spiritual struggle. Many folks might be assuming that they have it all figured out, whether they believe in the Galactic Federation, the Anunnaki, the World War III narrative, Revelations, etc., etc. But I promise you there is only one key to surviving and thriving during this time, and that key is the wisdom of righteousness and love. The situation on Earth is about to become profoundly difficult. You have never experienced anything like what's about to happen. The culmination and convergence of all culture, from science to history to philosophy to spirituality to religion, is going to cause an atomic explosion of ideologies. All things you've ever believed in, all things you've ever known, all things that have ever been told to you, are going to be tossed asunder into the chaos. You will not have a single thought to lean on, let alone an entire belief system. All structures, physical and mental, are going to be destroyed by the apocalypse or great revealing. The one truth is an unspeakable one that transcends any language a human being could utter. I don't tell you any of this to make you afraid. I'm trying to prepare you for what's to come. You've seen and heard the warnings and signs. Wars and rumors of wars. Great rumblings and shakings across the planet. Wicked men and women ruling over nations as tyrants. Enmity between human beings and neighbor against neighbor. The dimensions are beginning to transverse into one another. And the first, second, and third heaven will be laid bare in one place for all to see. I need you to understand that there is only one thing that you must do. Honor the two commandments. Love thy God and love thy neighbor the way you love thy God. If you have not developed a relationship with the Great Spirit, I highly advise you get started immediately. If you don't understand the concept of namaste, the light in me honors the light in you, and why the gospel of peace and loving your neighbor as a child of God is so important, you better get started. Love will be your anchor through all of this.